hypertension or high blood pressure is an area of medicine that I have a lot of interest in um, because it's very common and it affects a lot of people and is also an area that we can make a big impact on improving people's health and improving their lives. Hypertension can be caused by several different things. It can be inherited and run in families. Um, it is also linked to obesity and can be also caused by high salt diets as well as lack of physical activity. Hypertension often doesn't have any symptoms, especially early on. It's often known as a silent killer for that reason. Um, because it does not tend to have obvious symptoms, it's important to follow up routinely with your primary care provider to have your blood pressure checked regularly so we can detect hypertension early. If people have symptoms related to hypertension, they're often somewhat vague and can be even fatigue, headache, um, or even again, nothing at all. Hypertension is diagnosed uh, with taking blood pressure readings, usually on two separate occasions. Uh, and once we have those readings and the blood pressure has remained elevated, our next step is to try to get that under control. This can be done through dietary changes and lifestyle changes, including increasing physical activity, as well as sometimes reducing sodium in the diet. Sometimes, however, we'll have to use medications, and fortunately, there are a number of good medications that can be used to bring the blood pressure under good control. An important reason to address the problem of hypertension is because it can put you at risk for having many complications, including heart attacks, strokes, as well as kidney failure. Hypertension isn't something that can often be cured. However, it can be managed sometimes through medications, sometimes through lifestyle changes so that people can live normal, long, healthy lives.